Hello everyone, I am Hilda and I welcome you all to my channel Hilda Crafty. The spooky season has arrived, Halloween is around the corner, so I thought of making a bottle craft related to this theme. To make it interesting and involve the kids in this DIY, I thought of using bottle caps to make pumpkins. So without wasting any time, let's get started with this video. I'm taking a clear flat bottle using rubbing alcohol with a cotton pad to clean any oil stains on the bottle. This step is important. I have collected bottle caps over time. I'll be using a cap with a flat top like this one. Not the one with anything embossed on it or having a company logo like this one. Taking orange fevicryl acrylic paint, spread the paint with a brush like this. Then put the cap on the paint making sure it's fully covered with paint. Then place on the bottle and lift the cap so it leaves a round impression like this. We do the same step again. This time we overlap with the first circle to get an impression like this. We again repeat this step for the third time. This time overlapping the first two circles to get an impression like so. This will be our first pumpkin. Now to make the second pumpkin, we do all the three steps again, making sure we have enough paint on our tray. It gets easier with practice and no issues if you make a mistake, just wipe with a damp cloth and do it again. I decided on having two orange pumpkins on this side of the bottle. Now with green acrylic paint, we will make the stem. The stem is often referred to as the handle. The paint is dry now, using yellow 3D outliner to make the outline and the ribs of the pumpkin. You can use yellow paint and do this step with a brush if you don't have a 3D outliner. So now we turn the bottle and on this side I will repeat the same steps but this time we'll make it with white acrylic. I decided on making two pumpkins on this side as well. I'm choosing brown acrylic to make the handles for the white pumpkins and made one slightly curved. I didn't have a brown 3D outliner so using acrylic paint to make the outlines and the ribs used a zero size brush for this. When the paint dries we move to the third side of the bottle here making orange pumpkins again. I had covered the paint that I used earlier to avoid drying. I do the same steps on the fourth side for the white pumpkins. You can refill the paint if it dries before you start with the stamping. After the paint dries, we make the handles. You can make it slightly curved or twisted as per your choice. Then the outliner, the ribs and then let it dry before we move on to the next step. I found the top part below the neck of the bottle. Perfect to make an upside down hanging bat. I roughly drew with a sketch pen and then used a black 3D outliner on it and let it dry. Even made a branch from which it hung. Now making a ghost here and few more. I will let the 3D outliner dry and then later go on to paint the inside. Now to make a few houses. You don't have to be perfect for this project. Little tilted or crooked houses will look great. Now for a dry dead tree with no leaves, just branches. Made the tree on one side of the bottle, making the branches come on to the other side, something like this. Chose a side which I wanted to be the front and wrote Happy Halloween on top. Again you don't have to be perfect, this will add interest to the project. Now for the eyes and sharp teeth. Coming back to fill in the color for the ghost. On this top left side, I decided to make a web. It's really fun with this 3D outliner. It leaves a lovely 3D effect. Now to make an easy spider. Not much skill required for this. And we will make this spider hang from the web. We made something like this. Now making the base black and adding a cross and also some grass. This will add to the dark and scary tone. Halloween is celebrated on 31st of October. It is believed that spirits freely roam during this time. This is why Halloween has the spooky ghostly atmosphere we know and love today. Making a tombstone on this side, choosing elements which go with the Halloween theme. 
filling color when the 3D outliner is absolutely dry. Making another cute fat spider, little different than the first one I made. And I plan to make this hang from the tree branch. Black eyes, red lips for the flying ghosts. Different eyes and mouth for these white pumpkins. Also given them a nose here. Let's color the bat, just the body. Eyes I will do last for a reason. And lastly, the roof. Now using raffia palm fiber for the neck with silicone glue. This glue dries very fast. This will also add a touch of fall and country charm to our project. I got this from Itsy Bitsy. You can use my coupon code HILDA5 to buy anything online. Link in the description box below. I will add a bow on the front side of the bottle and tear the ends as it will add interest. I will not use a gloss varnish but a matte one. Matte will leave a frosted look on the bottle which I am looking for in this project. Using a flat brush and applying varnish on the bottle, leaving the raffia. Now using fevicryl molded clay to make pumpkins to embellish the bottle. Mix the raisin and the hardener well. Make a ball the size you want the pumpkin to be. Make a hole in the center and then make the ribs. Used clay modeling toolkit to do so. Then take a small amount of clay to make the handle. I made four pumpkins with one packet. Used acrylic color to paint when dry and made two orange and two white. Let the paint dry very well and then used a gloss varnish as I wanted a shine on these. Using red 3D outliner now as I didn't want the matte varnish to dull the eyes. After the varnish is dry, placing the pumpkins around the top. I'm just placing these randomly and let it set for some time. Now to add the LED lights and see how the bottle looks. Can you see the matte look the varnish has left behind? So choosing the right varnish is also very important for a project. And can you see how the eyes of the bat look scary? This is just what I was looking for. I will mention the links for the items used for this project in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed my video and will try this DIY with your kids this Halloween. I have a bottle lamp video using different size bottle caps. We'll mention the link in the description box below. You can check that out. It's a very fun and easy DIY. This is all for today. I hope you all have a wonderful time with your family and friends this Halloween. Do like, share, subscribe and I will come back with another interesting video. Until then, bye-bye, take care and I love you all.